This is the beginning of a competition known as Sapper Stakes. Both physically and mentally demanding, these combat engineers press on step by step, mile by grueling mile. This competition embodies the heart and soul of a combat engineer. Though the work is hard, these engineers do it willingly. I think everybody out here at this point signed up during a time of war. And they signed up during a time of war to do a hard job. And during the last 12 years, combat engineers have done route clearance, hunting bombs, hunting things that kill people, and mostly our other soldiers and brothers in arms. That is a hard thing to do. And it takes a lot of willingness to say, to sign your name on that line and say, that's what I want to do in my service to the country. The job of a combat engineer is awful. I mean, it's pounding pickets, it's digging ditches, it's putting in wires, it's assaulting the breach. And yet, no matter how much it sucks, I can almost guarantee you that there is not a 12B here that would want to change their MOS. The events at this year's Sapper Stakes create a stressful environment to test the physical and mental limits of these soldiers. They must remain not only physically strong, but also mentally sharp to perform their tasks in a stressful environment. You gotta have that mental toughness because this event taught us, if anything, we were prepared to do our, all the 10 level work. We knew everything we needed to know, but when they throw that stress on top of you of it's hot down here. This isn't, you know, Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, where we thought we were going. It's hot, you haven't slept, and you're running, going, 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 rucking. Uh, you gotta be able to keep that mental sharpness and that focus when that stress is on. Teams are comprised of six soldiers with a maximum of two alternates and must complete events leveraging the skills and talents of the individual soldiers. Even in moments of individual defeat, these combat engineers rally around each other and spur their teammates on. Come on, get up there. Let's go! Pushing them farther than they ever thought they could go to instill the champion spirit inside each individual. The saying, you're only as strong as your weakest link, that's definitely true here. Um, we got to make sure that everyone is good, not just yourself. And as an individual, obviously you can prepare and prepare and prepare yourself and you can do it really good. But uh, as a team leader and as a team, we need to worry about each other as well. The eighth place team could not win. They were far behind. They couldn't catch who they wanted to catch and they didn't stop. So, in the end, I mean, how do you, how do you call that eighth place? How is that not a champion of Sapper Stakes? How is that not the winner? How is that not the best team? To know that you cannot win, but you never give up. To know that there's no chance that you're gonna catch that guy, but you don't stop running. Three grueling days of challenges, culminating with the final winner takes all race comprised of the top eight teams. Soldiers were required to complete tasks along their route. If they were unable to complete this task, they paid a physical challenge as a penalty. In the end, one team emerged through the smoke, victorious despite hiccups along the way, and walked away as Sapper Stakes champions. We had a lot of hiccups getting here. Had a guy break his leg just this week. A guy step in on Thursday, and to be able to pull together a team this quick and, and come in and win it feels amazing. The Army National Guard sent four teams to compete alongside Army Reserve Sapper teams, one of which made the final eight teams. In this final event, this X mile, that you had both the Guard and Reserve represented, I think that means a lot. That drives home the fact that we are creating uh, forces and um, echelons that are going to be working together. And this, this, this is only going to serve to cement those bonds and cement um, the, uh, the essential uh, nature of our partnership as Guard and Reserve Forces. From the first launching of rafts into the lake to exploding crater charges. Oh, to the exhaustion of walking a 12 mile ruck march. One thing held constant through this competition, leadership. This competition creates leaders. The second place team was led in the end by a specialist, a specialist. And then here's the thing. His ability to lead has nothing to do with the rank on his chest. It has everything to do with the quality of his character, the power that exists in his heart to motivate and lead others, and then his overall desire to serve his team as a leader and to suffer with them and alongside them no matter what. In Fort Chaffee, Arkansas, I'm Calvin Reimold.